Luroi's Pokemon Leaf Green Walkthrough Part 25. Alright, so after you get the third gym badge, what I'd recommend doing is getting the HM for Flash because you're going to have to go through a giant cave to get to the next town and you might just want Flash to help you get through that. So in order to do that, you'll want to talk to this guy up here and he will tell you about his other assistant, which is on Route 2. And you have to head over back to Route 2 to find him. So um, after you talk to him, uh, well, you don't actually have to talk to him. But after you do that, you can head over here. And this is Diglett's Cave. Now, Diglett's Cave is kind of like a shortcut back to Route 2. So that's where you're going to want to go. Alright, so we made it through there with no problems. And we're back here at the beginning, which is like way earlier in the game, if you remember... Uh, if you cut down this tree, you actually get back in Pewter City, which is where we got the first gym badge, which is kind of funny. So, yeah, it's just kind of like a shortcut right there. So, if you want to do anything back in here again, you can do that. So, let's head back down and, um, what the heck? I just cut this tree down. Why is it here again? I swear, I never know why they grow back so fast, but whatever. Um, oh yeah, in this house right here, if you have an Abra, you can trade for a Mr. Mime, so... It's kind of like a psychic for psychic type trade, and Mr. Mime's pretty good. So more trees to cut down because I don't know why people plant trees everywhere. It's so dumb, but yeah, we're going to come inside here. And this is the assistant dude you want to talk to because as long as you've cut in 10 Pokemon, which you probably have by now, you can get a special reward from him, and he gives you HM05, which is Flash. So that will be very useful because... Um, you can use it to light up the dark cave, which you'll have to go through later on. So, yeah, definitely grab that. And then if you want, you can grab some other items down here, like um, an ether, and I think there's like a paralyzed heal or a burn heal. Or, or yeah, paralyzed heal. So, um, now that we've taken care of all of that, the next stop is Cerulean City, so let's head back up there right now. Okay, major time warp. We're back up here. Um, and yeah, it's basically back in Cerulean City again because that's where the next route is after you've uh, done all that other stuff like gotten Flash and everything. So you can cut down this tree over here and um, you got a giant route with tons of trainers and at the end of it there's a giant cave with tons of trainers. So this is probably going to be pretty dang fun if you ask me or maybe I'm being sarcastic. So yeah, yeah, really this is this is one of the more annoying parts of the game going through this giant, giant route and cave just to get to the next city, but yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's a blast, you know, getting put to sleep by Oddishes and stuff, you know, you just, you couldn't ask for a funner time in this route. It's just great. So yeah, me being sarcastic again. So, Oddish is gonna use Sweet Scent, you know, Sweet Scent, it's, it's gotta be one of the dumbest moves ever, like, really, it's, it's just dumb, I mean... It's, I mean, I can see the point of it, but I mean, I would never teach it to any of my Pokemon. It just seems like a waste to me, but whatever, that's just my opinion. So we'll stick around for this Bell Sprout here. Uh, and we can just do the same old thing with Secret Power again. And hopefully we can, well, we can paralyze it. That's good. Now I know Bell Sprout doesn't, um, actually I don't know. Maybe it does have Sleep Powder, but luckily he didn't use it. So we can kill it with a Payday. And, um,. Yeah, oh, critical hit. Well, I always get that darn critical hit on the wrong turn. Oh, wow, whatever. It just I've gotten used to it by now, so it's not that big of a deal. So, yeah, let's switch back over to Charmeleon just to make things a bit easier. I don't want to get put to sleep again, that's for sure. So, um, Oddish, you can get killed by the Ember. Feel the burn. So, yeah, there you go, Oddish. I don't know why I said there all weird, like, there you go, but whatever. Um, Bell Sprout again. Okay, that's fantastic. Two Oddishes and two Bell Sprouts. I don't see the point of that if you ask me. Just seems like a waste to use the same Pokemon over and over. But whatever. You can do what you want. I'm not questioning your techniques. Just as long as you're giving me money after the battle. Yes, that's all we care about. The mucho, mucho money. I can't speak Spanish. Okay, so. Oh, there's a TM right here. It's uh, for Aerial Ace, which. I would recommend teaching that to your Pokemon if you could because it's a pretty darn good flying type move. 
The good thing about it, though, is it, it has 100% accuracy, so no matter how many times your opponent uses sand attack or double team, you could not possibly miss. And um, we'll teach it to Meowth for Growl, because well, it's definitely better than Growl, so... Now Meowth should have an easier time taking on stuff like Oddish and Bellsprout, so... You know, it would have been nice if they gave me that, like, five minutes ago, and I could have killed all those other things so much easier, easier but whatever. So... Here's a hiker. Yeah, I put Weeping Bell up front just because he probably has, like, Geodude and Onyx and stuff. Oh, he has a Machop. Oh, darn. If I would have just kept Meowth up front, I could have killed it with Aerial Ace, but whatever. we will use Acid. And, um, yeah, it's, unfortunately, Weeping Bell is just, you know, it's it's hard using Weeping Bell because it gets, like, no good moves. Like, Acid's decent, but it's really not that strong and, like... Bullet Seed's not that strong either, it's just, that's kind of a pain to train it up, but whatever, it's still a pretty cool Pokemon, I think. So yeah, here's an Onyx we can kill with Bullet Seed. You know, a lot of people don't realize this, but Onyx has got to be one of the weirdest Pokemon, like, in the game. I mean, look at it. It's a snake made out of rocks. Like, whose idea was that? Like, hey guys, let's make a Pokemon that's a snake. Only it's made out of rocks. Oh, and it's going to have a giant horn, too. Because sn all snakes have horns. I mean, who hasn't seen a snake without a horn? But yeah, just wacky stuff. Just wacky stuff. So yeah. Going to find another hiker. Because all the hikers like coming down by the mountains or wherever we're supposed to be. I honestly have no idea. And he has a Geodude. And Geodude, I mean, that's kind of a weird Pokemon, too. I mean, you have a giant rock with fists and eyes. Now, I don't know about you, but if I saw a rock laying on the ground with eyes and fists, I would just be freaking out. That would just be the weirdest thing ever. Oh man, so many Pokemon are weird in this game. I'm gonna just try to start making fun of as many Pokemon as I can because it's so easy. I mean, half of them just, you don't even think about it, but it's just, they look so weird and they just make no sense at all. But yeah, it's kind of funny. So, more Onyxes to kill. And yeah, I would just, you know, you just love to see the expression on a hiker's face when you send out like a grass type or a water type. It's like, go Geodude, go Onyx. And it's like, oh no, he has a Weeping Bell, I'm screwed. You would think they would like think this, think these things over before they start battling. Like, I'm going to use all Pokemon that are four times weak to grass type. That's a great idea. But whatever, we're going to put uh, Meowth back up front again and take on this trainer. Come on, battle me. There you go. Is that walking there with those good looking Pokemon? How can you even see my Pokemon? They're supposed to be in Pokeballs. I don't know what you're talking about. That was kind of weird. And he has a Growlithe. Okay. Growlithes are pretty dang cool. I, I like Growlithes a lot. But they have that stupid Intimidate. It's like, ah, now I have to switch out to. I'll just go to Ivan. It's because you can just take care of just about anything, actually. And, ah, oh, Roar, no, don't go to Weeping Bell, don't go to, okay, thank you, thank you, don't use Ember, please, just don't use Ember and I will be happy, don't use Ember, yes, I don't know why you didn't use Ember, that's why the trainers in this game are just so stupid, it's like, you have a fire type, and they have a grass type, and you use Leer, it's like, hey, I'm gonna lower that thing's defense, oh wait, I'm dead, yeah, that's basically how that just worked out. And now you have a Charmander, so we can go back to Cyrus again. And, um... You know, Charmander's also a weird Pokemon. Like, a lizard with a tail that's on fire. I mean, I don't see how no one else thinks that's weird. I mean, a Pokemon with a tail that's on fire. That is just... I, I, I don't know. I just don't know. So, yay, coins scattered everywhere. Some more money for us. And that's good. Out like a light. Yeah, out like a light. I don't hear that expression that often, actually. So let's go fight this guy. Um, yeah, this is the guy with the two B drills, I think. I remember that. He gets up early to raise his Pokemon. Well, that explains why he has the B drills then, because he actually bothers to train his Pokemon, unlike everyone else in this game. No, everyone else in this game has an odd strategy. Their strategy is use Weedles and Caterpies. This guy actually knows what he's doing. He uses Beedrills. And Beedrills are pretty beastly. You know, Beedrill is a weird Pokemon also. I mean, 
Would anyone else think it would be weird to just, like, walk outside and see a bee? Like, a giant bee that's, like, six feet tall and weighs, like, 50 pounds? Because that would just be freaky. I would be running for my life if I saw a bee the size of a human. But whatever, um, yeah, Aerial Ace is coming in handy here. Just because, I mean, well, it's not quite knocking it out, but it's coming close, so. I need focus energy, whatever. Payday for more money. And a level up, too. So, um, yeah, that really wasn't too hard. Just got a lot of experience out of it, and we're gonna get a lot of money, too. So... What? What a total waste of time! Yeah, training your Weedles all the way up to a Beedrill was a waste of time. So, looks like we got some more trainers to fight on this route, but we are gonna take care of them next time.